Hello there, my fellow gunship aficionados, and welcome to another Imperial Navy lore video concerning their smaller aircraft. Just like I promised in my previous Valkyrie episode, today we are going to examine, so to speak, its three main variants. These are the Vendetta, the Vulture, and the Sky Talon. Each of these has a more specialized role in their support of the Imperial Guard, and we're going to see their differences in just a few moments. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about the variants of the Valkyrie, shall we? The Vendetta The Vendetta is a heavy gunship of the Imperial Navy's Aeronautica Imperialis, and a more heavily armed variant of the Valkyrie airborne assault carrier. It is primarily used as a tank buster in support of the ground forces of the Imperial Guard. The Vendetta is a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft and is alternatively used as a transport for airborne combat regiments such as the Tempestus Scions and soldiers of the Elysian Drop Troopers. The Vendetta's armament is designed to more effectively combat enemy armored units and provide ground-based fire support than the standard pattern Valkyrie. It is also used as heavy air support for Imperial ground forces, as the aircraft is capable of staying on station once its troops have been dropped to provide heavy air support against enemy armor. The Vendetta is heavily armed with anti-armor weaponry, including two sets of twin-linked LAS cannons on its wings, and one set of twin-linked LAS cannons located near the cockpit. The aircraft also possesses two door-mounted heavy bolters, to be used for covering fire when dropping off its precious cargo of Imperial troops. The Vendetta can replace the wing-mounted twin-linked LAS cannons for two Hell Fury missiles. It can also be equipped with two sponson-mounted heavy bolters for added firepower. The Vendetta can be enhanced with ejector seats, extra armor plating for the cockpit, a searchlight, flare or chaff launchers, infrared targeting systems, and illumination flares. Despite the impressive firepower of the Vendetta, it lacks the flexibility of the Vulture gunship which is often chosen over the Vendetta for deep-range attack and urban assault missions. And now some of its stats. It is classified as a heavy assault gunship. Its Forge Worlds of Origin are Mars, Voss, Artemia, and Esteban 7. Its crew consists of one pilot, one navigator, and two door gunners. It weighs 13 tons when empty. Its length is 18.5 meters. Its wingspan is 16.9 meters. Its height is 4.8 meters. Its operational ceiling is 13,000 meters. Its maximum speed is 1,100 kilometers an hour. Its range is 2,000 kilometers in atmosphere. And its armor for the hull and superstructure is 75 millimeters. The Vulture. The Vulture is a gunship of the Imperial Navy's Aeronautica Imperialis that, like its cousins, is capable of vertical takeoff and landing. It is used to provide heavy air support for Imperial ground forces and the Valkyrie transports. The Vulture is very similar in appearance to the Valkyrie, but with a drastically different role on the battlefield. The Vulture is capable of carrying a large variety of weapons, and is able to engage both infantry and armored units, and is also able to effectively attack fortified enemy structures and bunkers. The Vulture is an attack gunship, and its main role is the support of Valkyrie assault carriers while in flight, and while their Imperial Guard forces are disembarking. The Vulture will often stay at the drop zone after the Valkyries have left in order to provide heavy air support to the infantry on the ground. Regiments of the Imperial Guard, like the Elysian Drop Troopers, make heavy use of Vultures as they are often deployed into hostile territory without heavy armor or artillery support. Like all Imperial aircraft, the Vulture is crewed and operated by members of the Imperial Navy's Aeronautica Imperialis though it is always used in support of Imperial Guard forces. 
The Vulture is not used as an air superiority fighter, due to its slower airspeed. This is a role better left to the Aeronautica Imperialis's Lightning and Thunderbolt aerospace fighters. The Vulture, like the Valkyrie, is also unable to operate in the vacuum of space, and thus, obviously, cannot be used in space superiority or orbital assault action. The Vulture can be armed with a vast amount of weaponry and various upgrades and modifications. The default armament of a Vulture consists of a nose-mounted heavy bolter, twin-linked multi-lasers, and two Hellstrike missiles. The aircraft has two weapon hardpoints on each of its wings, and can equip two different weapon systems which are linked to their counterpart on the opposite side of the aircraft. The inner hardpoint, closest to the center of the aircraft, is capable of exchanging the twin-linked multi-laser for external fuel tanks, that will extend the aircraft's operational time and range. Twin-linked LAS cannons can be attached for increased anti-armor firepower, as well as twin-linked missile launchers with either frag or crack warheads, twin-linked autocannons, or twin-linked rocket pods. The outer weapon hardpoint is capable of exchanging the Hellstrike missiles for external fuel tanks, two bomb racks with up to three bombs each, two heavy smart bomb racks with up to three heavy smart bombs on each, two missile racks with three hunter-killer missiles per rack, two Hellfury missiles, or two multiple rocket pods. Both wing hardpoints can be used for a single twin-linked Punisher Gatling cannon on each wing. The Vulture can also be equipped with ejector seats, flare or chaff launchers, searchlights, extra armor plating, infrared targeting, and a more heavily armored cockpit. It is classified as an attack gunship. Its Forge Worlds of Origin are Mars, Voss, Artemia, Esteban 7, Agrippina, Phaeton, and Lucius. There are 10 known patterns. Its crew consists of a pilot and a weapon operator. It weighs 9 tons when empty. Its length is 19.2 meters. Its wingspan is 14.2 meters. Its height is 4.9 meters. Its operational ceiling is 11,000 meters. Its maximum speed is 1,000 kilometers an hour. Its range is 2,000 kilometers in atmosphere and its armor is 75 mm. The Valkyrie Sky Talon The Sky Talon is another variant of the Valkyrie assault carrier, and is used as a support aircraft intended to provide combat airlifts of light vehicles and cargo for the Imperial Guard. It is used for the transportation of light armored vehicles, whereas the standard Valkyrie transports the air mobile infantrymen of the Imperial Guard into battle. On the Sky Talon, the troop compartment of the standard Valkyrie has been replaced with large magnetic lifting clamps, allowing the aircraft to latch onto light Imperial Guard vehicles such as the Taurus and light combat walkers like the Drop Sentinel. It can also carry a large supply pod that can be deployed for drop forces to resupply when behind enemy lines, as more heavily armored ground vehicles may not be able to reach such forces. The Sky Talon's main tactical role is the safe and efficient delivery of its cargo into combat zones. Once its airlift duties have been completed, the Sky Talon will withdraw to a safe distance, and await orders to extract the vehicles or other cargo from the field. The Sky Talon is crewed by a single crewman, the pilot, who also operates the aircraft's few weapons. The aircraft is equipped with only a single nose-mounted heavy bolter for self-defense, and to assist in the clearing of any active drop zone. The Sky Talon can also be equipped with two Hellstrike missiles for anti-armor support, and these can be switched out for multi-rocket pods as the mission requires. Lastly, just like the other variants, it can also get ejector seats, extra armor, flare launchers, and infrared targeting systems. It is classified as an airborne lifter. Its Forge Worlds of Origin are Voss, Artemia, Trefagar, Agrippina, and Lucius. There are six known patterns. 
It has a crew of just one. It weighs 12 tons when unladen. Its length is 18.5 meters. Its wingspan is 16.9 meters. Its height is 4.8 meters. The operational ceiling is at 12,000 meters. Its maximum speed is 1,100 kilometers an hour. Its range is 2,000 kilometers in atmosphere. And its armor is 75 millimeters. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you on these free variants of the Valkyrie for today. If you have any thoughts or questions about them, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing for more content. I thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a great day. The Emperor Protects.